Hello, welcome to Learn English Today. We have Mr. Alex. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good morning, Adam. I am great. So happy to be here and to help our students. Excellent. Today you will teach us advanced vocabulary to improve our English. People keep asking for advanced vocabulary. They really want to speak English very well. If you're not comfortable with intermediate English and ready to challenge yourself, you're in the right place. Well, let's start. Beat around the bush do you know what this phrase mean? Well, it means avoiding the main topic, not speaking directly about the issue. I will give you an example. Stop beating around the bush and tell me what the problem is. Or, don't beat around the bush, come straight to the point. Another expression, cut corners, it means doing something poorly or cheaply. For example, if you cut corners when you're renovating, you might end up spending more on repairs. Or, take your time, don't cut corners and follow instructions to the letter. Let the cat out of the bag, it means reveal a secret usually unintentionally. For example, I was trying to keep the party a secret, but my sister let the cat out of the bag. I was trying to keep the parry a secret, but Max went and let the cat out of the bag. I'm sorry. Lily knows about last week's party I'm afraid I let the cat out of the bag. Another expression, once in a blue moon when something that happens very rarely. For example, I only see my cousin once in a blue moon since he moved abroad. Once in a blue moon Alex will offer to help with the dishes, but usually he doesn't do any housework at all. Sit on the fence, what does it mean? Not making a decision or taking a side in a dispute. For example, you can't sit on the fence any longer, you need to make a decision. He considered that it was better for him to sit on the fence during the meeting. What else? Oh, speak of the devils when the person you have just been talking about arrives. This phrase is very famous. For example, speak of the devil, here comes Lily now. Speak of the devil, we were just talking about you. How did you know that? Throw in the towel, it means to, to give up, to admit defeat. Example, after several failed attempts, he decided to throw in the towel and try something else. Most businesses do not throw in the towel, they just reorganize so they can compete better. After running two miles of the marathon, Alex and Adam decided to throw in the towel. Now, what else? Barking up the wrong tree, what does it mean? Well, it means to be mistaken to be looking for solutions in the wrong place. For example, if you think I'm responsible for the error, you're barking up the wrong tree. 
the police spent three months barking up the wrong tree on the murder investigation. Or, you're barking up the wrong tree if you think Alex can help you. Bite off more than you can chew it means to take on a task that is way too big. For example, she bit off more than she could chew by enrolling in too many classes. Or, don't be afraid to bite off more than you can chew. Take big risks. Burn the midnight oil it means to stay up late working on a project. Or task. For example, if you often burn the midnight oil, you'll burn yourself out. Or, I have to burn the midnight oil tonight to finish my report on time. Fit as a fiddle, what does it mean? Well, to be in perfect health. For example, the doctor was attending her. And presently he pronounced her fit as a fiddle. Or my grandmother's 68, but she's as fit as a fiddle. Kill two birds with one stone. To accomplish two different things. At the same time. For example. By studying while I commute, I can kill two birds with one stone. We always emphasize to kill two birds with one stone. When we learn English, we must make use of it. Miss the boat, do you know what this phrase mean? Simple, to miss an opportunity. Example, I missed the boat on investing in that company. When its stocks were cheap. Or, buy your shares in the company now. Or you'll miss the boat. On the ball, it means doing a good job. Being prompt. Or being responsible. For example, our project leader is really on the ball and keeps everything running smoothly. She really is on the ball. She's bought houses at auctions. So she knows what she's doing. Another common phrase is, taste of your own medicine. I'll tell you what it means. This phrase means to experience the same unpleasantness that you've given others. Example, I don't feel at all sorry that people are calling you names. You're getting a taste of your own medicine. He finally got a taste of his own medicine. When he was treated the same way he treats others. What else? When pigs fly, it is something that will never happen. For example, sure he'll pay for the drinks when pigs fly. She claims she'll finish the entire project by tomorrow, but I think that will happen when pigs fly. Another expression is Oh, no, we don't have time for more. I have classes. But if you really like this video, please like and comment. You can also share it with your friends. We love teaching you new words and phrases.
so you can speak advanced English. Take care. I hope you liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the super thanks button. Thank you very much for your support. Take care.